Hi, this is Mark Lopez, class of 1983, Georges Valley High School. Said I was asked by the Georges Valley Buccaneer page to give my thoughts and memories of the 1981 state championship team. And I'm very pleased that they asked me for that. Uh, what a great time to be a Buccaneer. We were coming off an undefeated season, and you couldn't ask for a better team than 1980 team. Uh, they scored 83 goals, posted 12 shutouts, only gave up seven goals all season, less than half a goal a game. And we were the team that had to follow that up. Big shoes to fill. But you put your faith into Coach Sam Pendleton, you work hard, and you're surprised at the results sometimes. We had a pretty good season going 10-1-3. and Into the playoffs, we did a perfect 4-0. Our final record, 14-1-3, scoring 78 goals, posting nine shutouts, and giving up 14 goals. Not too bad. Uh, pales in the comparison of that 80 team, but what some fun and exciting soccer we got to play. To the Yarmouth game, which I believe was the Western Maine Finals. Yarmouth had just come down to Class C the year before performing very well in the B playoffs. So we had our work cut out for us, but as always, we seemed to get the luck of the draw and we had them at our place, and it's awful hard to win on Pendleton Field unless you're wearing that green uniform. As I recall, we ended 0-0 at the end of regulation. Now going into, going into overtime back then, you played two 10-minute overtime periods. If it's still tied after the overtime periods, you go to two 10-minute sudden deaths. So, we're working our butts off, and in the first overtime, Yarmouth scores. The Yarmouth crowd charges the field. They're celebrating with their players, feeling they've won the game. We know that we have to play the whole two overtime periods, but they think they've won the game. The refs have to clear the field. We get everything back under control and we resume play. After the first 10 minute overtime, it's one nothing Yarmouth. We go into that second overtime, and I wish I could remember who scored the goal, but with the likes of Scott Johnson, Ricky Robinson, Jimmy Clark, who knows, or any one of our tremendous role players in the halfback or forward positions. As time was winding down, we tie it up 1-1. So now we go into our sudden deaths. And I got to tell you, when you have that kind of offensive punch, all you have to do as a defense is just keep it away from all-star goalie Kelly, and you don't have to worry. And if it does get by you, Kelly's going to stop the ball anyway. Well, sure enough, we end up scoring in that overtime, and our fans charge the field. And pandemonium breaks loose, and everybody's hugging, and everybody's cheering. And Yarmouth is asking us to clear the field because they think we've got to pay the rest of the sudden death. Little did they know they were runner-up in Western Class C that year. Of course, we went on to play Lubeck, uh, excuse me, Ashland. And we beat Ashland one to nothing or three to, I can't remember now. But that uh, finished off our season. Uh, at, uh, and what an experience that was. Um, I got to tell you, I left George's Valley, I joined the Air Force and spent four years guarding nuclear weapons. I then spent the next 25 years with the Maine State Police. I've chased felons at 120 miles an hour, I've investigated homicides and I've arrested murderers. I've even guarded a couple presidents in that time frame. And I got to tell you, a lot of that wasn't that hard because I had the advantage of playing for a George's Valley team where you always gave your all. And it was always more exciting, that Yarmouth game, than anything I've done outside. I've still got, it took me a while to dig it up, boys. But I still got the pendant from 1981. I still got that. I have still got the little trophy. Again, a lot of dust on it. I had to take, had to find it. This was buried a little bit, you know. But not Ted Bundy. I didn't score, uh, Al Bundy. I didn't score four goals in one game. But I've got that on there. And I got to tell you. God bless Sam Pendleton. He takes young boys, turns them into young men, and teaches them life lessons, and most of the time they don't even know they're learning. I said, in the words of Eddie Money, I want to go back. I want to do it all over again. But I can't go back, I know. 
Thanks again for letting me stroll down memory lane. And I'll give you a picture of the seniors that year. What a team. What a memory.